What's happening, friends? It's Podcast Unlocked, episode 240 for April 6th, 2016, which means we finally have our first big Xbox release of the year. Quantum Yay. Break! Yeah. Which I heard you guys, uh, I haven't listened to the show yet. Heard it's, it. It's I heard incredible. it went well. It went yeah. really well. Well, yeah. yes. No, it did. Like, <laughs> and well. by went well, like as in a, you know, like a a train on fire speeding down <laughs> yeah, the tracks. Yeah, people were like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. But the train was full of fireworks, and so the fire made cool explosions yeah. in the sky. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That works. It's always fun. It's yeah, good, so good times. last week's episode, we read, we should introduce ourselves. Hi, I'm Alana. <laughs> This is, this is Marty. You should know him by yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. There are a couple of these. Uh, uh, so we we read this like email that is within Quantum Break. Yeah. That is one of the bad guys. Yeah, Mitch. Screenplay. Mitch gave me the whole story. Mm -hmm. we, we, Mitch right. and I had a goodbye in and out lunch where he paid mm -hmm. his final in and out debt <laughs> because he bet me that Far Cry Primal would get delayed, and I was like, nope. Had inside sources telling me <laughs> nope. You bet and, burgers. Oh yeah. Oh, we bet the in and out all the time. You're going to get used to that. Because, oh, by yeah. the way, really Alana like Pierce, new permanent member. Hey. Wait, did you just hear what she said, though? I don't really like in and out Alana Pierce on Off her the final show. episode of the show. <laughs> It was overhyped. But uh, back to Quantum Break. So, <laughs> I can't even move past this. <laughs> when you live in another country and people come back and they're like, dude, these burgers I had in California, you got to have them. But and then I had one. I was like, oh, yeah, it's You're a supposed to, because they, don't they do, like, Little remote in and out, yeah, and things people line in Australia, up for like and it's several it's a whole hours. thing. Yeah, so it's always going to be overhyped, <laughs> right? There's like no way for those burgers to be like, ooh, yeah, this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's like you'll you'll settle out. down, you'll settle in, and then you'll realize that how wrong you were. Yeah, you're, you'll, you're you'll come, you'll see the error of your way. Factually inaccurate. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah I got I the I got the story from Mitch on how it's like a screenplay or something that it's you incredible. find in the game. Mm -hmm. So we used Act Paul One, Marine. Yeah. Paul Marine, but there are several acts. <laughs> and the time knife. Yeah, there's more acts, and yes. so we so need we to, find to find those. Find them. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I I'm gonna be buying Quantum Break today. I think I think that's gonna be like my first my first game purchase of the year. There you go. Yeah, I've been so exhausted since getting home because I tortured myself at the end of my vacation. I I. Flew home early and anyway, whatever. I have another show for that. But uh, I stood. I camped out all night, not for a video game console, but for a car that mm -hmm. won't be out for two years. You can use that car to drive to the store to buy a video game console. Boom, done. Logic. You'll all laugh at me now. Mathematics. You won't be laughing in two years. Actually, no more maybe jokes. Will be. I don't know. In two years, it's jokes fine. will be outlawed. Yeah. No everybody, loud. everybody, do what makes you happy. This made me happy. The, when Tesla are our overlords, they're going to outlaw <laughs> <Yeah>, Lord Musk. <laughs> Lord. No more jokes allowed. The, the term, clean the term yeah. Lord Musk is terrifying. It's a little hauntingly too real, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Or Lord Musk just seems like a, a a class in like wow a wow expansion. Lord Musk. A Lord Musk. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, I did it. Kinda. Huh. I'm gonna write a, a wow expansion. Anyway, yeah, I saw. I did have some celebrity sightings mm. on my Hawaii vacation, and so I saw Dan Heron. Most of you, won't, you guys have no idea because ba no first of all, baseball. I know it's you know not a th cricket. If I say cricket I know star, cricket. yeah, <laughs> I don't. Cool. Know. You uh, said the word cricket. Hey, <laughs> so it's it's been mentioned somewhere. An angel got its wings. <laughs> no, I saw yeah this former major league pitcher Dan Heron because he used to pitch for my favorite team, the Diamondbacks. I was like, wait a minute, that's and I just finally I was like, I was like, I'm just gonna walk. I told my wife, I'm gonna just walk up to him. I'm just gonna say, like, excuse me, are you Dan Heron? He's like, yeah. <laughs> like I'm oh, a big fan. He's like, oh cool man, enjoy your vacation. Nice guy. Oh, that is and then uh, on the last day, sitting on the beach in the morning. Group of people walking by, guys, his wife, kids. I'm like, that's, I think that's Magic Johnson. Friend of the show, Magic Johnson. Yeah, sure enough, it totally big, was. Big podcast on Lock fan. He is. He listens every week. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Magic Johnson's a basketball Shout player. Shout out to Magic. Ah, uh, okay. He's very Dream good. Team, very good in the 80s. No. Wipe the floor with I your country and then. every other country. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's going to be a long... <laughs> <laughs> we started doing this thing where, like, sometimes if, if someone wants to publish, like, a Let's Play or something, yeah. or, like, something somebody retro. died, yeah. someone will ask me, be like, Alana, do you know who or what this is? And if I'm like, no, they're like, our audience probably doesn't either then. So it's like, I'm a very good test for You're that. You're a barometer. Like, yeah. I don't know who Magic Johnson is. Well, wait, so, hold on. You would have been born in 93? I'm 93, yeah. Oh, <laughs> See, that's, that's, gonna, that's death coming for us. It is. <laughs> yeah, right it on the is. horizon. Like just, uh, yeah, no wonder. It's going to take us so, into his cold embrace. I was playing Nintendo before you were alive. 
I was playing yeah. Super, Super Nintendo. Nintendo. My, and Genesis. My first console was a 64, but I think I started out on PC. You're wearing first, it today, the shirt. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the first console I played, I think, was PS1. So it was like, I feel like the 90s was a very easy time to grow up playing video games. Because mm-hmm. they were yeah. like, the first time where there was a multitude of consoles that For had sure. really, really good lineups. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like to think I was born at just the right time for me because mm-hmm. I got to, like, when I was six, seven, and just starting to get interested in games, there was the Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I got to just, I kind of came in, you know, of course there's people that are a little older had the Atari and have fond memories of that, but I kind of feel like I came in, like, right as it started to all get yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely had. Yeah. You, uh, it was just a thing when you were. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, it still wasn't totally common. True. But, I mean, my sister and I played tons of games together, and then it was funny, Marty and I were talking about this, the games that I'm still like have nostalgia for yeah. also includes the original Xbox and very early Xbox 360. Wow. So, so it's, I think it's an age bracket thing. Is, yeah. is Pixel, are like 8-bit Pixel games just weird to you? No, because no. there's so okay. many retro games that have that. But it's not aesthetic. retro to you. It's like this this other thing. Yeah, it's like to it me it doesn't trigger like a nostalgia. Style. To me, no, it doesn't Atari, trigger yeah, that's the whole thing with me. Like I was I was born in '86, and so yeah. I was sort of, you know, Atari was before me. Yeah, and so Atari doesn't trigger any of those Same like emotions of my yeah. childhood, yeah. like the the NES, and then more, you know, aptly the Super Nintendo does. Um, yeah. It's funny that you have that with. It's sort of like the way you view the original Xbox is the way I view like late Super Nintendo, early N64. Yeah, I think it's yeah. the age period. I think you stop being nostalgic when you develop critical thinking. Mm-hmm. So I think that's like probably around 12 or 13. Yeah. So it's like I was. I'm still nostalgic for Gun, that original Xbox 360 <laughs> game. Never soft. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to like, Never Soft. <laughs> I really want to play that again. I remember just mining gold. It was a very good game. I think about that in a really nostalgic way that I feel like. A lot of people probably don't, but I definitely won't have that with Xbox One. I don't have that with, you know, mid to later Xbox You're 360. not nostalgic for Rise? Hey, I'm, you shut I'm your not. mouth. I didn't say anything. Did you like that game, Ryan? I am a big defender of Rise. Yeah, I am too. I, I think the, the character was great, mm-hmm. and the story's the really ending? good. Yeah. Oh, that ending. Like, yes, the combat's a bit repetitive, but I thought, and I thought the set pieces, like all the levels were totally. just gorgeous and, and different. And the use of Kinect. It's like my favorite use of connection oh, in a video the, uh, game. Yeah, You'd be yeah, like, yeah. fire, the, yeah, and they the, would. Yes. It was great. It took it, me a the minute. The set pieces to... were very, very nice. I yeah. think it was just like, if it had been less combat, it probably would have been better. I'm legit sad we're almost certainly never going to get a rise to. Yeah. Yeah. R.I.P. Crytek. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was the, yeah. the game that people got when the Xbox One came out, though, because it was the prettiest. It was like, sure. I mean, that's, yeah. that's the that is, is the epitome of a launch game. It's just like, I mean, Killzone Shadowfall on PS4. Like, you know. Yeah. I Same thing, where it was... Not a great game, but super pretty. Yeah. It was like it was a showpiece when yeah. you got the system. Yeah. yeah. So I, I would have, I, I wouldn't recommend Rise to everyone, but it's a game that I'm like, yeah, still worth playing. Yeah, especially if it pops up for. If you get bored, you like, stop playing. Well, hopefully it'll just pop up as a free game. As with games gold. gold. Yeah, I'm yeah. sort of surprised it still that hasn't happened yet. I wonder if there's a if cheap. there's a legal situation between because I know the the rights are, you know, Microsoft published the game, but Crytek we found out through all the, all their turbulence yeah. does still control oh, the game yeah man so the stuff that happened with crytek yeah what's going on with them now well they seem to have stabilized which is good you know we don't want we don't want to see oh, them go they're away doing robinson the journey the and vr game yeah oh the dinosaur thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever it is and they have the isn't the the climb theirs too the one where you're climbing i believe so yeah a mountain in vr yeah. so they got a couple yeah. vr games you're not talking about everest because that's definitely not no there's no, a thing called the different the thing the climb okay I and, haven't tried and that. i just remember like the premise is cool, but you're, you they don't render arms, just mm. disembodied hands. Yeah. And I wrote them about it, and they were they were like, oh, like we they tested it, and it was just kind of like clumsy and weird. And I think that's pretty common in VR. Yeah. You I mean, have they're designers; they try this stuff. Mm-hmm. But true. Yeah. So they've got a couple of VR games. I don't know if they have anything else uh, like on the major. I assume that they would space. be going mobile. Like. That, that seems I mean, like what they would be doing. They, they anyway. can kind of do the epic thing, too, where they can more or less just be in the engine business and occasionally make a game. Yeah. Yeah, aren't they releasing that? They're releasing... No, 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 I think that's... What, CryEngine? Yeah, so more people can use it, but I think that I think, it, yeah, it's, it might be free. It might be one of those sort of free with back-end points yeah. deals. I mean, that's the, what the CryEngine... One of, like, the big Unreal free engines. That, it, yeah. was, it was either Unreal Unity or, or yeah. CryEngine. One of them, I don't remember which one, um, like, recently did a pay-what-you-think-it's-worth thing. Interesting. Oh, interesting, yeah. 
a couple of weeks know. ago. I don't remember which one though. Anyway, which is very unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, so the other pseudo celebrity setting, I didn't actually see anyone. I know a couple people at Valve. Like just, I would recognize Gabe Newell. I've met him once or twice. But then uh, Chet Falasek mm-hmm. is a guy. He's like the most public. public yeah. Guy, the guy I've interfaced the most with at Valve over the years, Same. and then I would, pr- I think I'd still recognize. I see their PR guy, Doug Lombardi, every now and again. Too. He's been there for literally since the beginning. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm walking to the beach on my last day before I was going home, and there's a restaurant at the hotel, which is just open for dinner. But I'm walking by, and there's this big orange sign that says, uh, "Maui 2016 Valve Breakfast." Wow. I'm like, oh, this because we've heard, we've read stories about how Valve this- takes. Company holiday? Their, their whole company and their families on, like, week-long sweet holidays because, duh, steam money. Well, and I was true. like, oh, they're at this – oh, that's cool. They're at this hotel. I was so. like, how can they afford that? Wait, no, dumb question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's I guess awesome. if I'd been there a, two or three more days, I probably would have run into somebody wow. I knew. should have snuck in. They'd, be, they'd have been hanging with Magic and yeah. Dan Heron, yeah. You could have got, port- got those portal scoops. They also work steam. true. Steve. I could have been like, hey, guys. Vive is awesome. Can I please have one? Because I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you can. You're all here. So where were you in Hawaii? Uh, in Maui. Okay. Yeah. I've only been to Honolulu because it's to fly home to Australia, it's a lot easier to go five hours from SF to Hawaii. And then sure. it's like, I think, nine hours home. So I get like a break in between. Yeah. So I've been to Honolulu like, I don't nice. know, three times now. Mm-hmm. It's really nice there, but i got to get out to the other islands. At some yeah. Point. I, I've been lucky to be on a few of the islands and Honolulu is probably my least favorite. I think only, everyone says that. Only because, because I'm more of a, it's a touristy suburbs, one. boring, like, I just want the nature stuff. And yeah. Honolulu is very, like, nightlife, young people, Yeah, cool. that's not the kind of holiday that I like at all. Yeah. I like to just, like, hang out somewhere. But it's also, like, if I'm just stopping there for two days, there's no point for me to right. fly. But I think Maui. Maui's great. And then my, oh, my I like Kauai. Yeah. That's the little right. one. It's just it's just nothing but nature basically, and you can drive around the whole island mm-hmm. in like two hours. That's that's the Hawaii. place I would suggest going. Was it warm already? This oh, time? it was. I I didn't wear long pants or shoes all week. That sounds incredible. Which is you my favorite good. part. Yeah. Yeah, it was like eighty something, like low eighties, mid eighties, most of the whole week, and yeah, oh. go if you ever get the chance. I think yeah. I say that every time. Would it be frowned upon if I wore a cardigan in Hawaii? I mean, you'd uh, just be hot, frowned I upon, no, but people would probably assume that you were a serial killer or a child molester or fair assumption. Yeah, yeah. something, mm-hmm. something weird. Yep. Trying to convince my family to come to Hawaii for Christmas because my grandma has always wanted to go there and has barely traveled at all in her life. She's only traveled in maybe like the past decade, and yeah. she, she's over eighty. So yeah. Oh, you got you got to really do it. She comes yeah. to Hawaii. If yeah. grandma says it's, uh, she wants to go to Hawaii, you got to go to Hawaii. Yeah. Also, no one's going to fight her on it. It's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I also want to do that. Let's go. Uh, what else? Let's see here. Oh, last thing. So did you? Did either of you get a chance? I know. I, am I the only Am I the only big Doom fan? I, I like, like Doom. Doom. I like Doom. Like Doom. I didn't okay. get a chance to play the beta. I'm excited to. It was quick. I it was just a, a weekend. Yeah. What did you think? Uh, it's fine. It's, you know, I'm underwhelmed, I think. Yeah? Um, I liked a lot of the environments. I think they looked a lot more hellish than I expected it. Too. like I from what I had seen it didn't look too much like Doom but yeah the environments are really nice yeah. uh, it's really quick and everyone looks like Master Chief <laughs> <laughs> oh here we go here we go here comes the no they <laughs> he the other way around <laughs> uh, Marty can just see my head in, in, to, to explode the aneurysm uh, funny, when, uh, I, when I played Alien Isolation I was like man this really just looks like a generic space thing. It created <laughs> the generic like, it's space thing. Because it, it literally is. <laughs> because it spawned that. Yeah. It's oh, so man. weird. But no, I think it, I think it's it's going to be fun. And I also really think there's a very good competitive opportunity for it. Yeah, it's. I, I get to say it's it's very old school, but in a way that makes me happy. Like yeah. it's it's super fast. You you're not going to live for more than probably 20 seconds. But I really like that about it. Yeah, and then it's just like a couple of quick shots. In fact. I almost felt like the deaths were too slow in the sense of I wanted the hits to do more. Because like, in the original Doom, one direct rocket hit and you were just paced on a yeah. wall. Or, you know, uh, with like two shot or one shotgun blast up close or, or you know, or a l- couple from distance. I almost felt like the weapons didn't do enough damage. Huh. Yeah. 
in the in what I played the Doom. I beta. guess I hadn't considered it because I'm comparing it to modern games yeah. and not to itself. Yeah. But you're probably yeah, I right. compare it to itself. Yeah, yeah. I didn't old. do that because I don't like my memory of Doom is right. Not but that I like. I mean, it felt great on the game. I play. I just went ahead and played on Xbox. Um, yeah, I, I think played, when it comes out, I'll play. I think I have to play it the first time, at least the campaign on PC, because mm. it's just mm -hmm. yeah, it's history for me yeah. at that point. But it felt really, really good on Xbox yeah. 64. There was a a lot like instantly it's like oh my god the tear the screen tearing uh, it's making my eyes melt. Yeah, but apparently not everyone had that. That's weird. Yeah, I, I totally. I, totally I, it's a beta. It's labeled a beta. The game's not out for a little bit. I'm not going to hold that. I will hold yes. that against them in the final version totally. yeah. if it's there. But yeah. Can't do that for this, it was fine. Yeah, it felt good. I, I yep. agree. It's there's. I'm curious I'm not, to see some I'm other game not, modes, I'm just not as too. excited by it as I hoped that I would be. I'm, but. I'm really excited for the campaign. I don't th I don't think I'm going to play a lot of this multiplayer. Yeah. I'm going to play the beta when it's open on the 15th. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing we wanted to mention. Yeah, from the 15th to the 18th, the uh, beta is going to be open for everyone to download. Just, yeah, whoever. Which is great. Uh, so I'm going to play that, and then I think when the game comes out, I'm going to play the campaign, and probably that's it. I just don't have enough I'm time to really invest about myself in the campaign multiplayer. either, based on what we've seen of it. I'm just excited for a, a big, dumb, pretty fast FPS campaign. Also, thinking of nostalgia, I think that the image that I have of Doom in my head is maybe not the same of what Doom actually is. When I played Doom, I was terrified. Yeah. So when I think of Doom, I think of it being scary. I think of me. Did you play Doom three, or are you talking about like original Doom? Original Doom. Okay. Uh, I played Doom 3 as well. Yeah, because Doom 3 was the one that sort of veered closer to survival actual survival horror, horror with the yeah, flashlight. Much slower. Yeah. Much slower. Actually, I remember that being one of the first games where I was like, whoa, this is really pretty. Was oh, a yeah. Lot of that was, at the time, it was Vent probably the best climbing. looking game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I thought of the first ones as scary because maybe they, they were the they first were. Like, scary they games absolutely. that I ever played. I mean, the early 90s. The, the, like, the sort of strobe lighting and, yeah, the, and like, the, a lot the of sound, sound design. Of the monsters. Yeah. It was the sound design that bothered me. And it was like a lot of like me finding like, secret areas <laughs> <Yeah>. and finding <laughs> keys and yeah. just like walking around the <laughs> thing. And then there's just like this <laughs> yeah. giant enemy in front of me. That's what I think of, of Doom is me being scared. Whereas the new gameplay that we saw is you being like last year was me like, oh, yeah, this is an action game. Which maybe it always was. It's just that's not the like overwhelming sense that I always had. That's a fair point. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm, and no one's played the campaign yet. No media. Yeah. Nobody outside of ID and Bethesda have played that campaign yet. So, um, very curious to see how it turns. I'm actually hoping to review that game because yeah. I figure one way or the other, I'm gonna have a lot to say. Yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. We have a coming month, at it. Month left. It's early. Yeah. Uh, early May. I think it's May 13th. Yeah. I believe so. Is it really? Soon? There's way too many games. It is coming up. That game should oh. basically be done by now. Yeah. It should yeah. be going into certification on the consoles, and PC version should mm. be pretty well buttoned up. And oh, we'll have a day go. one update. <laughs> of course. <laughs> they all do. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's come right back, and we've got a bunch of news to talk through. What is that? Is that like Hoop Dreams on your phone? What no, is that? No, I got drunk last week, and someone uh, changed my background, and I don't know how to change a background on a phone. Do you need help with that? Nobody tell them how to do it. No, <laughs> I'll just make him. It's funny this fish. way. That was like white men can't jump because it was like a playground hoop with the. Was that Wesley oh, Snipes? Oh, silhouette? is it the, the dunk? silhouette man? Yeah. Nice. I don't. Was it you that changed it? No. All right. But I'm familiar with the image. <laughs> yeah. I haven't nice seen it, defense. but I know the image that you're referring to. Well, there was like ten people in that bar, so there's gonna be a murder mystery to figure out who changed the thing on my phone. It was, phone. It was probably me. Alana in the corner <laughs> with the. With the fo Fingers. iPhone 6. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, be right back after this. All right, news time. Finally, something happened before we recorded. Yeah. yeah. Our thing is, s things always go down right after we record. It's like Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening is when something yeah. cool happens. And it's just yeah. like, well, we recorded the show already. So this morning, as of our recording day, mm -hmm. Gears of War 4 got its release date. I was convinced, so in my predictions, I said uh, what, a Crackdown August, Gears, or no, Forza rather, uh, sorry, yeah, Forza September, Crackdowns probably somewhere uh, October with Halo Wars, and I thought for sure Gears would be the November game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. Gears of War 4 will be in, out on October 11th. I'm excited. So this is our, this is our second date of the fall. With Final Fantasy 15, yeah, as September we're gonna 30th. get to that too. Yeah. But so, um, yeah, I why I not November? I think it's smart to get out before Call of Duty 
to get out before. I mean, I'm, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what other competitive shooters are going to be coming out this fall. Titanfall, if well, it that, comes that's, out. That, yeah. And that's what I, I started racking my brain going, okay, they're, they're going to... Because they did this with Halo, too. Mm -hmm. Again, I thought Halo 5 would be out in November because all... You know, there were a couple of September Halos, but mm -hmm. mostly Halo was, boom, November. Come mm -hmm. get it. And it wasn't with Halo 5. It was, granted, it was close, the yeah. very end of October. It was like the 23rd or something? 28th, I think, yeah. even. But, yeah, so, okay, why why would Microsoft want to not have their flagship thing go out in November? Oh, okay, well, they're on one platform. You get out of Call of Duty's way. but then And then, of course, last year, there was Fallout in there. And they yeah. they put Tomb R. Raider R. up Tomb against Raider. that. Sent to die. Yeah. So it's like, okay, wh what are they avoiding this year? Because there's no Mass Effect. There's no mm. Assassin's Creed this mm -hmm. year. And I thought, okay, well, what else? Right. Titanfall mm -hmm. 2 is probably, I mean, they yeah. said it'll be out between either the fourth quarter, between the fourth quarter and Early first quarter yeah. next year. Yeah. So it's either going to be probably holiday or you know, early spring. Sort of where it was last Titanfall. Exactly. Yeah, that's, so, I mean, that's a lot of shooters in a small amount of time. Also, and Battlefield Battlefield 5 is almost certainly out. Yeah. You know, cuz it's 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 this year's Battlefield, you know, last year was Battlefront. So that's like Battlefield, at least four so, huge shooters in that small period of time. Yeah. That's Hence, crazy. Microsoft wanting to get gears out yeah. in front of that and stuff. And this is yeah. also there might be another Destiny drop, like that that a second sort of Taken King. That's true cuz they, they kind of already or I guess ru ru the rumor mill already Put put down any chance of the proper Destiny two out this year? Yeah, right? I think yeah. it's, that's pushed out a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, you're totally right. It's like There's last year was maybe the year of the RPG where we had like Witcher, we had Metal Gear, we had Fallout. Yeah, it was, it was the giant open world stuff. Yeah. yeah, so maybe this is like shooter year. Mm -hmm. Bang bang, which is most years. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> what a bang bang. I can't think of like that many like this year being Gears and Titanfall alone is yeah yeah amazing. I mean, last fall had Halo and Battlefront and Call of Duty. True. Which I guess, and Siege ended up coming out in That's true, in December, December 1st. Which in seems a weird like, way, I don't like count Siege as part of that because it's yeah, It doesn't have guns so at all. Tactical? It's not well, first person. It still counts. I mean, it does. What do you mean? It, it is I first. No, I was being he, facetious. He was being I was being very rude to yes. our, our new co-host. I see. I was rude to Mitch. Are you hazing? I was no, I'm I was rude to, I'm always rude to people. He's just very mean. <laughs> I'm just very cruel. I'm just a why horrible he still human being. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like Siege, like I, I wouldn't include that in the bundle in the same way that I almost don't include Gears in that bundle, though it's it is third person, so yeah, that's different. Yeah. But it's like I don't know, it has its own flavor. Mm -hmm. So I'm revising my prediction. So now I think obviously there will be a November game mm -hmm. from Microsoft. Yeah, I think it's going to be Halo Wars too, because it's at this point it's down to I got a figure. It's down to Halo Wars two or Crackdown three. One of those is the November game. I or would, I would go or, Crackdown. Or, so I, of those two, I would lean Crackdown as well. But also, Crackdown or Halo Wars 2 could slip till next year. And then I've heard that there's many games that are going to do the Fallout thing at E3. And so maybe Microsoft has something that's oh, going to be revealed at E3. Announce and go. And then that'll be the November hmm. thing. Hmm. Um, which, I mean, Fallout was announced and came out in November, so... Yeah, I don't that's know. true. Um, I don't feel like Halo... I mean, does that mean we're going to get another bunch of, like, dumb trailer teaser videos? You know how, like, Fallout teased? <laughs> oh, like the lead-up the... to... Oh, I hated that. Yeah, like, the... just show it to me at the conference. Yeah. In a world. Yeah. Like, it's Fallout. Just <laughs> stop it. I hated that so much because I was so excited about being in the room when Fallout 4 was announced because mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be 83, and I was like, I'm so excited to be there when it was announced, and yeah. then they released that. And I was like, damn! <laughs> yeah. Aww. Also, way different than all these, but Dishonored will probably be this fall as well. And That's granted, a good point. I mean, it, it yeah. is first person, not quite a shooter, no. more of a, it's a you know, first person stealth. stabber. Yeah. But no, you make a great point there. There's yeah. Dishonored in the mix as well. I, I think it's going to be Halo Wars too because it's kind of counter programming to all these shooters that we're talking about. And it's Halo. Yeah. If Microsoft, of course, is going to put How Halo did on Halo a pedestal. Wars, so. It did. It, Decently, of course, nowhere near the shooters, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it did do, it did do all right. I think yeah. it sold over, you know, it was seven figures. Did they announce Halo Wars Two for PC as well? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I feel like putting Halo Wars Two out in November is just putting it out to die. Like, so see, I almost wonder if it's counter programming to all yeah. those shooters. So it's like, oh, okay, well here's, here's something, something different. different. It's a Halo game, but it's something different. I mean, it, you, I you're not wrong. 
I just think they're they're kind of two schools of thought on yeah. this one. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Like, I feel like Crackdown, the same thing kind of applies. It would be, this isn't a shooter. True. Yeah, Crackdown, especially True. without Assassin's Creed, that's sort of the big open world thing that we don't have a ton of stuff locked in for this year. I mean, yeah. we assume maybe Watch Dogs 2 will get revealed right. um, and do the, the uh, Fallout thing. Yeah, I don't know. So do you th- you think Crackdown will be the I feel like the, it would, the November it game? It would be Crackdown over Halo Wars, yeah. I could see, and then, and then cra- uh, Halo Wars in September. Yeah. If if it comes out this year at all. Yeah. I mean, they said holiday twenty sixteen. Yeah. But, of but we've seen the lead. least of any of the games we've talked about. We've seen the least of that. We've seen zero, we should, yeah. zero of Halo Wars two, other mm-hmm. than that announced CG Is this trailer. Is the part where we do an, an in and out bet? <laughs> on which one is you're, which? You're 20 minutes into the. <laughs> I like Bogus. that you're, you're catching on. Yeah, she's just gonna will herself yeah. like in and out. Like, yeah, if it's free, it'll taste better. <laughs> if I win the bets against, it'll these just get me out of the office. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm. I'm not willing to bet on it because mm. I could see it going either way. Yeah. But. And Sea of Thieves. Remember that game? Sea of Thieves. I mean, That's I'm a whole other thing. The fact that we're this far into the year, and we've heard nothing about Sea of Thieves, and it's a new IP, and we talked about how new IPs, like, don't sunset overdrive it, right? Yeah. Don't new IP in the holiday on a, on a as a platform exclusive. Did Bad sunset idea. overdrive not sell well? Not at all. Oh, really? That game's so fun. That game's it's, incredible. I voted for it for Game of the Year 2014. That game's incredible. So good. And it's free this month. It's free this month. It's a very good game. Everyone should play it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I think Sea of Thieves, I'm thinking more and more... I think it's going to delay. Yeah, yeah, it's going to delay. Plus the size and scope of it, right? If yeah. the from what they're saying, if if it is a Destiny Division style game in the sense of it is a persistent shared world. Yeah, and I mean thing. not even thinking about the scope of the game itself. This is effectively Res reboot. That's true. This game Good has point. to be amazing because people are expecting so much of it and it's going to be like, "Oh, this is the flavor of new Rare." So it's like that in itself is a huge And story. if it yeah. sucks, it's going to be like, oh, okay, I guess Rare's Let's over. Let's actually kill them. Yeah. yeah. Well, not you. Don't, they're not going to die. Yeah, they execute all of them. <laughs> See if Whoa. Well. They make them all walk, walk the, the plank. plank. <laughs> oh, what was really sad was I was, I was about to say, where is Fable? Let's oh. yeah. <laughs> I got really sad. Why? <laughs> because I, f- for two seconds, forgot that Fable doesn't exist anymore. Fable 4 is going to be a thing. I don't know. I hope Maybe so. Maybe someday. Yeah. I think pretty much definitely. Pretty much definitely. <laughs> yep. Pretty much definitely says <laughs> IGN.com. <laughs> That's the same guy who revealed Fallout. It is the same. So he's, he's everywhere. <laughs> All right. So uh, Gears of War, October 11th. Beta starts soon. We're going to live stream the beta the first day. Uh, and I think if all goes well, we might have some coverage of it on or before that time. Hint, That's a hint. hint. And oh, we wait might a minute. have Does a someone s- get to play that. Soon? And if uh, there's, if you, if you don't mind the show being a tad late to meet an embargo, we might have a special guest next week. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Is it gonna be Marcus Phoenix? <gasps> well, it it's not Phoenix? that good. Oh. Okay, I'm sure even he would. Is agree. it Maria? <laughs> I wonder what Marcus dead. Phoenix oh, yeah. would be like on a podcast. <laughs> Just him or Joe just DiMaggio? Just John DiMaggio. Jo- Joe DiMaggio. What would Joe DiMaggio be like? <laughs> He's dead also. <laughs> He'd probably have some cool stories about Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> yes. Um, we could totally get John DiMaggio on this podcast. I would love that. We Especially totally if, he would, that. if he would. Just we could voices. do half, half the interview just, just as him, but then the other half of the interview in character just like, as Marcus Phoenix. <sighs> and also as Bender and also as Jake, the dog. He, uh... He's also Gunter the Penguin. I was wearing a really? shirt, Goodness. and he walked past me at a convention once and was like, wank, wank. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> he's really the only good. person I've ever refused to interview because I'm like, I cannot interview Marcus Phoenix. Like, I've had the opportunity to interview him as a voice actor, and I've always been like, I don't want to because I would freak out. You don't want out. to ruin it? Yeah, like, I don't want to know him as a human. I don't, <laughs> can't disappoint like, I just a can't. picture. <laughs> That's exactly the yeah. thing. Like, I just don't, nope. I'll... Alana sounds close to Anya, too. So it's just like plug you right in to the universe. <gasps> well, no, but I wouldn't date Marcus Phoenix. <laughs> As you're like, would I? No, I wouldn't. You kind of look like Laura Bailey's character from the new game. Yeah, I get that That's a lot. That's true. People yeah. have said that a lot. Mm-hmm. Actually, now that you say that, she kind of looks like Laura Bailey, period. Are you I Laura Bailey? I don't know what she looks like. Well, it's like, uh, it's like, but... like the thing in the mirror. <laughs> it's you. When you oh, look into a mirror, the thing in the mirror. like... <laughs> Is, a thing is this a Michael Jackson song? 
like, is looking at the Harvard thing in the mirror. Man oh, yeah. in the mirror. Uh, I wanted to announce my new uh, screenplay called The Thing in the Mirror. Huh, sounds terrifying. <laughs> I thought you were going to say terrible. Oh, but I am thinking that I'm going to try and uh, cosplay as Kate, the Giz of War new lady that we don't know that much about. If nice. I can figure out how to make that armor. Mm-hmm. Well, our guest next week might be able to help you with that, potentially. So stay tuned, friends. Is it banjo? Mm-hmm. Y- yes, Marty. It's yes, banjo. It yeah. It's banjo? <laughs> this All is right. the best day. Uh, let's talk about our friend Phil Spencer who still listens to the show, or so he claims. No, he's passed his tests. <laughs> it's like a, it's like, it's like your parole officer. You gotta check in from time to time. <laughs> I feel there's certain times on uh, here and then on Beyond, because Shuhei listens to Beyond, sometimes we'll just go out, do something very dumb, and I'll think to myself, a very influential and very nice met person in this industry listens to this, and I feel bad, because they're very busy. Also, I'm <laughs> You're sorry. Wasting and I'm time. sorry, I am so sorry. <laughs> Phil was talking to our friends at Game Informer and said, quote, doesn't like the sound of Xbox 1.5. Ooh. Uh, when he was, this was sort of in response to the PlayStation 4K or mm-hmm. PlayStation 4.5 rumors, which seem to be all but true. I yeah. Mean, I agree point. that it sounds very bad, but is the PS 4.5? Just the rumored name, or is it no? The actual four four K is the rumored name. I th- yeah, mm-hmm. I think he's less talking about the actual name and more of he doesn't like the idea the of oh. reiterating or of a of a iterative right, 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 right process box, box halfway literally. through a console. Cycle. I think PS four K sounds very cool. I don't have a four K TV. Yeah, what do I do? Well, I, I don't know what to do. All right, <laughs> I don't know what to do. You, you get a Tesla. <laughs> in two years. Drive off into the sunset. Yeah. In two years. Literally into the ball of fire. Yeah. <laughs> sweet, sweet release of fiery death. Yeah, it's funny because he, I mean, Xbox is sort of pointing towards they're going to do something like this by saying that they'd be able to almost upgrade the internals of the Xbox One in the way like a PC could be upgraded. Right. Mm-hmm. And Phil talked at the showcase thing a couple mm-hmm. months ago. He choreographed this. He said, you know, everything is going to be kind of Windows-ish in the sense of everything now will be forwards compatible with the next thing. It's Xbox is a platform. It won't be just such a hard, you know, walled garden with a cutoff where now this thing doesn't work with that thing. Mm-hmm. So he's he's telegraphed his move. But it's interesting that he's now sort of shooting down the whole, eh, we're not going to do a you know, PlayStation or Xbox 1.5 the way Sony's doing a PlayStation 4.5. So mm-hmm. the question is, what's he, what are they up to? What do you guys think they're going to do and when? I mean, it's going to be this weird arms race because signs are pointing towards Sony doing it this year. And is Microsoft ready to do it this year? I mean, they sort of do need a drastic move whether it's a price cut or whether it's introducing this new piece of hardware or an updated piece of hardware. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. So there are pluses and minuses to a mid-cycle upgrade. The minus is it's never worked. <laughs> it's a, never a, worked. A pretty bad minus. It's not to say it can't, but it has yet to work. Wiimote Plus. <laughs> 32X. <laughs> How about that? Nintendo 64 Rumble. expansion Rumble pack. pack. Yeah. No, the expansion uh, pack, that was Donkey Kong and Perfect uh, Dark, and that's it. Ma- what, Majora's Mask? Did Majora's Mask use that or no? I don't think I don't know. so. Anyway, think so. Yeah. whatever. We'll ask NVC. Ask <laughs> <Yes>. Jose. <laughs> so it's never worked, but PlayStation 4 is already the default. Not the, I want to say the default. I don't want, it is already has the higher installed base. More people play their third party games. Mm hmm on PS4 because Mm -hmm. there are just a lot more PS4s out there. If there is a PlayStation 4K that can run those third-party games potentially even better, even if it's it's just an upscale to a 4K resolution, that's a marketing point. It's still an upscale. Yeah. Right. So does Microsoft care? Do they, like... I'm trying to wrap my head around this, and, I, and I'm trying to see wor- what they might be doing. And I'm, I mean, and it would have been so good if they dropped backwards compatible this year to counter that. Yeah. Because I feel like the backwards compatible thing was like my favorite announcement. Sure, yeah, a lot of people. That was huge. Yeah. yeah. So is it 
in terms of hardware. Does Microsoft double down on the Xbox One and say, okay, well, we're gonna, our price is now two forty nine, and we're just and they're just gonna lean into their games lineup, which we've talked we talk almost every week about how impressive and promising the twenty sixteen Xbox One games lineup mm-hmm. is. Do they just lean into that and say, hey, we've got the best, we've got the best games at the cheapest price. Yeah, maybe it's a redesign. It. Maybe it's a Xbox One Slim yeah. with an internal power supply. Maybe right. we um, learn more about HoloLens. I just don't see that at, yeah. on the on the horizon for games yeah, for quite really a long either. time. Yeah, for quite a long time. The thing about this that worries me is that um, if two years from now we have a PS4, a PS4 K, an Xbox One, an Xbox One Plus, yeah. Uh, PC and then NX, and someone is making a game for all of them. Like already, multi-platform games, uh, you know, there are the SKUs that come out that just are inferior in some way, shape, or form, whether True. it be frame rate or resolution or just performance issues. Mm-hmm. And so now, I feel like it's just going to be so much work optimizing a game for two different PlayStations, two different Xboxes, a PC, and whatever the hell Nintendo is doing. Unless it's unless it's handled like a PC in the sense of, you know, a, a PC game is not optimized for every possible configuration. Yeah. It's optimized for a minimum spec, and then they kind of lay down, not that they optimize, but they'll say, okay, and then uh, we recommend this based on the code we've yeah. assembled. Mm-hmm. What if it's that way on the consoles? It's like, okay, well... The minimum spec is the PS4 or the Xbox One, and then it'll just run better. You know, you're just throwing more teraflops at it yeah. on the PS4K or the like Xbox word. One. Is that a real word? It's a real yes, word. That's amazing. That yeah. that um, math people invented. My second horror movie is uh, called Terror people. Flops. I th- I'm pretty sure that's actually already a thing. All right, never Terrible. mind. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. And maybe that just maybe the the only change is like the Xbox One and PS4 run a game on high as opposed to the right. f- running it on ultra on uh exactly. the 4K or the 1.5. And the and, and we don't know what the NX could run I something mean, at yet. Even that Medium. said, I feel like you guys have probably discussed this before but be better than nothing. <laughs> the Xbox trying to compete or trying to counter PS4.5 like I'm more worried about what VR is going to do to that install base like to sony's if i no to, to xbox like oh. anyone who wants to buy an extra console now like i feel like would go with ps4 because of psvr not necessarily because the the it's so it's expensive you know it's 400 minimum but it's really five but mm-hmm. i feel like like buying a console with the promise of potentially having access to that i think is like a huge thing i mean do you i would be shocked if by the end of this console generation, Oculus doesn't work with Xbox One. That's a good point. Because they except obviously the, already have a partnership. I mean, that would need some sort of breakout 1. box, 5. too. Yeah, oh, to, totally. To excel, you know, some sort of hardware acceleration. Because there's, you know, the Xbox One. Can, just, like, yeah. just like the PS4 can't. The PS4 oh, is no, you need a, coming well, with Well, you box. need like a $1,200 PC, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Oculus exactly. Device. The stuff Phil has said... I know this isn't going to happen, but has almost made it sound like he literally wants people to modify the Xbox console. Like, buy this thing, and we, you can plug it into one of the many USB ports we have, and it'll do whatever. But yeah. I just I just can't see them actually doing that. Yeah, it makes it very confusing for Grandma, who goes to Walmart to buy something yeah. for little Johnny. Little I mean, Johnny said he wanted an Xbox, mm-hmm. and I, I don't know which one to get. That's Grandma. Is it the one? Excuse me. (laughs) Excuse me. What about the 360? Which one should I buy? A lot of them won't take me to Hawaii. (laughs) (laughs) Are there 360? (laughs) That's so many Xboxes. No one has room for that. Grandma doesn't know. God. Grandma's dumb. What's VR? (laughs) Ver. (laughs) Should I get the Xbox Ver? (laughs) Ver. I don't know. Grandma seems nice. She is a sweet around, right? woman. Thank yeah. you. I hated her at first. Wow. <laughs> now I like her. I thought she was really sweet. <laughs> the whole time. You got one of those mean grandmas that's just mean to everybody? She was Polish, so I didn't know, know what she was saying. My grandma was pretty mean. <laughs> that's because she hasn't been to Hawaii. You guys won't let her go to Hawaii. That's true. What? She's... We're trying to make it. What? Uh, she's just like. Just take her to paradise. <laughs> Jeez. Well, they're going on a cruise in like three weeks. So to norovirus some Greek then. Places. Yeah. To, to, to Greek places? Cool. Greases. Greases. <laughs> yes. She's going to more than one Greece. Uh-huh. The many Greases. She's very excited. Yeah. Yes. 
I'd be too. Mm-hmm. It'd be good. That's, that takes a long time to get there from Australia. Oh, she's flying there and then getting on a boat. Was she taking a boat mm-hmm. all the way there? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think they're flying. It's right. a seven-month cruise. Anyway. Uh, okay. so, <laughs> bottom line it for me. When do we see some sort of Xbox hardware, whether it's a 1.5, which Phil says he doesn't like, or or does does Microsoft wait a bit a bit longer than PlayStation 4K and go with sort of a full step, something with a new name that runs the same Windows 10 operating system? Where all the Xbox One games work, but they can flush the, all the negativity of the Xbox One away and start with maybe they just reboot and say Xbox, and that's it. So, what do you guys think they're going to do? I don't see that happening, but I definitely think that they're. I feel like it's more likely that they're going to release something next year, like a different console, like a Slim. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I would say next year, E3, 2017. All right. Maybe they'll announce it this year. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we'll make but, I mean, it. The Xbox One is just so big, right? It's, it's very large. It's a very giant thing, and I feel oh, like that was it was over engineered, right? On purpose, yes. and to avoid red ring. But and it did they, what it meant to. Yes, they've and been proven correct in also, that. Also, the size doesn't bother me. Uh, but because I just put it under my TV and I don't exactly. Know. I, whisper I, quiet. I actually don't. Care. And it it doesn't break. Yeah, yeah. I also They're think reliable. it's a cute looking console. I like the way the what used to be called a faceplate looks. I like the <laughs> front of it, and I, I think it looks nice. But it is also like a lot of people also often comment on that, especially because it has a power brick. Mm-hmm. So it's like, that's a lot of stuff. The reason I didn't bring my Xbox from Australia to America and got a new one instead is because it was like, well, that's several kilos. And I love that it wasn't worth, it was, it's so big, it wasn't worth like $350 yeah. to you to... I didn't buy it, but <laughs> yes. She stole it. She stole it. I stole it. Grandma stole it. It yeah. fell off the back of the boat. 360 of them. Yeah, that's how my grandma sounds. That's amazing. Wow, grandma. But uh, I think that's going to be a multicultural family. She yeah, has incredible. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my grandma is actually an Italian man. I'm walking here. <laughs> You're part of the uh, Altano family. Yeah, it's my grandma. But yeah, I think I think that'll be their focus is bringing out something smaller. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess 4K. They could just pack into that. I don't know how hardware works. Hack into it? Pack. Oh, I thought you, they were hacking. They could hack their own console if they wanted. You can do whatever you want. There's no cops. Anyway. <laughs> All right, there so are that's cops. that. The we after a twenty minute segment we came to zero. We have no idea what's going on. Next year. Correct. Welcome to Unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> Episode two forty. <laughs> but it's uh, exciting. It is. It's fun to talk about. Bethesda is the latest publisher to be offering some sort of public event at E3 this year. Mm -hmm. So if you've always wanted to go to E3, this is the year for you to finally go to E3. Mm -hmm. Because even if you can't get into the show proper, the show is going to come outside to you. (laughs) Who's even on the show floor anymore? Not not Disney, not Activision, not EA. uh, Bethesda? No, they're... Bethesda is. They still still are. Yes. Okay. But Bethesda is the latest to announce a public event. It is... BE3 Plus. They're That's cute. A clever little hashtag. So the you, wait, what? I don't think that you can hashtag a plus symbol. Spell it out. Oh. We have we have words. I was like, what? <laughs> they, they screwed it up already. They broke we Twitter. Tell them. This, this Somebody is going tell them. to walk. <laughs> Someone get Todd on the phone. <laughs> so the event will include it's gonna be on Sunday night, by the way. So technically before E3 even officially begins. Mm-hmm. Hmm. The event will include food, drinks, exclusive hosted interviews, so probably from the likes of the Adam Sesslers and other yeah. uh, cool people of the world that do that sort of thing. Greg Miller. Greg Miller. <laughs> yeah. Game demos, so maybe you'll get to see a an up-close demo of Dishonored, Dishonored. 2, for mm-hmm. instance. And even a secret musical performance at 9 p.m. Pre-registration for BE3 Plus is open now and runs through Sunday, May 1st. So if you're interested in going to that, space is apparently limited. So go to Bethesda's website. And, uh, yeah, you got Does that. Does more got... we have to do before yep. the, before conference day even starts? <laughs> Pretty much. Man, I'm already tired. We're going to be already done with E3 by the time E3 starts. That's yeah. nice. We'll have finished. That's nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah that is nice. Have a good <laughs> show, everybody. Uh, <laughs> and here I go. Uh, it hurts. Who do you think the secret musical performance is? It's uh, going to be a DJ. Black yeah. Keys. Wow, that was oh. very specific. That was very specific. I said it's a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> you, cause that's because you're a DJ well, and you no, want to get hired. Well, it's because they always do that. No, it's going to be like a musical act. 
They always do DJs. Full gaming will be you like Galantis. That's not even a real word. So black keys or chverches. Chverches. <laughs> or uh, who else? Who else is who else is in right the now? Beatles. What if it was just the what Xbox if, One launch party in Australia had the presets? You guys I know the presets? Nope, no, Damn I'm it. too old. It might be an Australian party. Might be an Australian they are an Australian band. But the, One Direction, they were like, Australian it was like band. Maybe yeah. three years after yeah. they stopped. I knew that. <laughs> That's <laughs> you're joking, right? What? A One Direction. Work? They're Australian. No, they're not. No, I the, feel like you're are, joking. He's I not, heard he's definitely not joking. Hour long interview with them on the Howard Stern show. They came from Australia. They live in the UK now. They're no, expats. No, I th- I think <laughs> that that definitely from the UK. I'm just because you live in the UK. The UK's got talent, whatever it is. Yeah, but you could be but Australian from and come Australia. there. No, no, no. I'm willing to you bet on this. You live in the US, but you're from Australia. I think you're referring to the other band, who I should know the name of because I'm friends with one of them. Oh, you're right. The I one am. Michael Clifford Sorry, is on. Sorry, you're right. What, but yes. what Five Seconds of Summer. That's the one. Thank My you. My bad. Glad I didn't take the you, bet. I don't. I have no idea what happened. This is why you shouldn't let That's us talk Australian about things we don't know about. Got, so like, five seconds of summer. Yeah, his, this is our, uh, our boy band segment. <laughs> this is what happened uh, when Mitch leaves. <laughs> Mitch was bands. the glue holding Mitch everything together. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know. What uh, were we even talking about? Oh, who puts us going to have some musical performance? So five seconds of summer then. Mm-hmm. I also think probably not. <laughs> what if it's just, what if Bob Dylan gets up there and just rambles? Oh. That'd be cool. I like what if it's Tangled Donald Trump? up in blue. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> no, I like him. Worst song in rock band. Tangled uh, up in blue. Rock yeah, band, I imagine uh, that song wouldn't work well in no, rock band. No, it doesn't. It's so boring. Song, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is cool. It's awesome for everyone who aren't the hundred of us who have to do this for work. Absolutely. Yes, it's kind of terrible for us. It terrible makes for us. Covering but, stuff yeah. very difficult. We have to do it very, very, very quickly now. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be stressful. Yeah. So it goes. But good for you guys. Everybody yeah, out there is going wah. Yeah. Oh no, you can do that. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> we're we're big babbies. Yes. Okay. Can, can confirm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's talk about a video game. Results. Two video games. That everybody's super stoked for. First one is Mass Effect Andromeda. Mm-hmm. Not coming this year. Womp womp. We knew that. But a very short little test clip leaked. Did you guys see it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I it did not, but I did hear about the jetpack. Jetpack. I yeah. try not Shows to watch jet pack. stuff that leaks. Yeah, I, I couldn't hold myself. It's the your job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the game's still a ways out. Uh, this was from, uh, it, was, it was an animation reel from 2014. So yeah. this was old. And some people were saying, this doesn't look what I thought it looked like. I'm like, this is two years old. And yeah. the game's not coming out for probably another year. So this is not you're what from the game now. Looks yeah. Like. yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. cool your jets. Hey. Eh? Goodbye, everyone. Cool your jump jet. <laughs> Going back and to my, my planet needs me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how excited are we for Mass Effect Andromeda? I... On a scale of all the excitement to cannot contain the excitement. I love Mass Effect, but I still haven't played three. I played yeah, the you, pants. We know your story. It's, it's, I played the pants off of one and two. One is my favorite. I like that there's a note here that says, please be more like the first game. Um, I love Mass Effect 1. So you prefer one. You haven't played three. One or, one or two, which do you prefer? I prefer one. That is the correct answer. You can stay. Well, when people say they prefer <laughs> two, though, I get it. That's the thing that I'm like, I totally understand why. But I, I played one on easy so that the combat was just like throw away. Yeah. And got really heavily invested in the lore and the story and... The which is making. amazing. Yes, which is so good in the first one, whereas two is obviously better in terms of action, but yeah. if you're playing it on easy, it doesn't really matter. You can just get through it really quickly anyway. Are we going to... Okay, so here's what we're going to do, Marty. <laughs> we're going to do some good this year. We're okay. going to murder you <laughs> if you don't play Mass Effect. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I was actually thinking we do some sort of charity live stream where Marty oh, has to nicer. play <laughs> all three in a row. Okay. And it's like a you know people. How play. long are these games? Uh, uh, Forty that could hours take each. Hundred hours, yeah. Okay, yeah. I could stay up for hundred hours. Yeah. I mean, if you play them quickly, it's probably. You could power through faster. Yeah. yeah. And you wouldn't enjoy yourself as much. Maybe I should just play these and sort of chronicle what it's like to play these beloved games. Ten years later. Yeah. Well, no, I only played the Mass first Effect one was ten years. Yeah. Three, four years ago. Actually, not well. Next year is the ten year anniversary of Mass Effect. Can they just release the trilogy Jeez. on current consoles? I really want them to do that. Why don't they do that? Peter Moore says, nope, you're creatively bankrupt if you do that. Well, he called out everybody else and I therefore mean, painted disagree. himself into a corner. People want that. I want that. Counterpoint, Hoop God and Pele. 
Again, you know. Pele, Pele, Pele. <laughs> Why is he still on the stage? <laughs> for all the for all the crap that we talk about uh, remasters, mm-hmm. I think the Mass Effect trilogy would go into the Master Chief Collection That'd be awesome. exception and GTA, wing. the yeah. GTA trilogy. Whoa! If they remat, if they not one, two, and three. I mean three. Three San Andreas, San Andreas Vice, City. Or, uh, Vice City. Yeah, yeah, that would be incredible. pretty incredible. Yeah. They won't, make, they won't do that. No. But. My favorite thing is everyone always says, I'm sick of remasters. No more but. remasters. Except <laughs> Red Dead. Except yeah. Mass Effect. Except right. Skyrim. Like, I don't get why everybody's got their, remasters. Their I love game. them. Like, I got Grim Fandango last year. That's the best yeah. ever. But best again, Resident that, Evil. But that was a thing that had literally been unobtainable that is for true. over a decade. Is, yes. You know, Sleeping Dogs. Give me a break. The game came out okay. a year ago. Sure. F you for charging $60. Yeah. The Metro, and Dockside the is Metro games. I rolled my eyes at, but Mass Effect, like things that are classics, you know how Xbox 360 had like the classic range, mm-hmm. like that kind of stuff, I would think yeah. that they should remaster. Or if you put There's multiple games in a, in a single thing. I really should Dead sit Rising. down and, and write a, a like a literal set of rules for remasters. You can and remaster what's... this if it sells because, well. Because even like, people ask for you know, it. Donald Muster was in here and he was super awesome to come in and he was promoting Shadow Complex remastered. Like, But even that, it's like, well, Shadow Complex is just backwards compatible. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, come on. Like, I mean, when uh, they did Fable Anniversary, I was super happy about that. Yeah. That on, was like on one the, thing on that the I wanted On the eight year anniversary so of Fable 1, we had Fable Anniversary. But I was, I was so stoked about that. Mm-hmm. Like, that was... Awesome, and that's the kind of thing that I would want if it's something that's really old and yeah, it's really got it's well got to be old. It's like the opposite of a statute of limitations. If yeah. it's too new, you can't do it. Mm-hmm. It's got to be a cer- of a certain vintage. Yeah, I agree with yeah. like Sleeping Dogs and Darkside as being. Yeah, silly. get out of here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's I don't care though. Like, if you want to, fine. But, but well, except for the part where it's like, I don't want to get into this loses? whole thing again. <laughs> it's well, we do because it's those resources could be spent uh, by developers making new games. That is true. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Mass Effect Andromeda. If you want to, there's a little little snippet of test yeah. jetpackness on IGN. If you want to see it, and then uh, you guys, I'm not. A, I confess, I've never been a Final Fantasy person. I respect the hell out of it, but Final Fantasy 15, big deal. Mm-hmm. Been in development for just a couple months. You know, literally ten. Couple years. months. Literally ten. Years. Final Fantasy 15. There was a big event hosted by our old friends Greg and, of course, Tim Geddes. Mm-hmm. And they announced not only the release date, but a bunch more. Yeah. Marty Sleva, yeah, take it away. Finally, I get to do something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so September 30th is when the game's going to release on uh, Xbox One and PS4. They also. Planting the flag in the ground as the yeah. first major AAA fall release. Yeah, that, absolutely. So far. Yeah, and it's sort of, I think that's a smart spot. It sort of reminds me of Metal Gear's spot last year, where, yeah. hey, there's this big 40 hour game, but it's coming out just before, before the rest of these games, so maybe you can burn through it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so uh, they also released that very night the Platinum demo, which is available for free for everyone to download. And um, it's very interesting and also very short. Yeah, what did you guys yeah. think of it? It's interesting. It's interesting. It's more of a tech demo than Absolutely. like a demo, like slice of the game. It's unlike any other video game demo I think I've yeah. ever played in that it's not a chunk of the game. It's like this plate will show you this mechanic if you stand on it. This will show you this mechanic huh. if you stand yeah. on it. So you just like go through and experience a bunch of yeah. different stuff. It's it's very pretty. And it legitimately feels like a tech demo because, like you said, the pretty part, uh, you stand on a plate and you can change the time of day. And it doesn't affect anything yeah. except how it's the game looks. So it's showing you, so the, showing you it's, the lighting system. It's like system. a playable debug mode. Yes. Yeah. Almost, honestly, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, But then at the end of it, you do if you complete it, you get the carbuncle summon. And that's the only way you can actually get that in the final game. Um, but also, my one complaint about that demo is, you know, the cute little mouse thing? Carbuncle? Yeah, Carbuncle. Yes. That yeah. sends you... Emojis like and, like... Text. Yeah. It makes this goddamn annoying noise every time it does it. Why? It's fine. It's just... <laughs> it's a, just it does it a why lot. Do you, you hate, what about the noises in Eagle Flight? <laughs> I hate repetitive noises. <laughs> just stop yelling things at me, and that thing's like, it would just squeak at you every time it sent you a text. Yeah, that's a dog's bark. Which is and a lot. every bark sounds the same. But dogs don't bark... That much. Peppers does. No, he doesn't. Okay, point counterpoint. Um, Maggie doesn't. Exactly. I don't know what's Boom. happening. Uh, Leave. Other Final <laughs> Fantasy things. Uh, they announced Kingsglaive, which is going to be a full-length uh, feature film that's sort of set. Uh, it takes place during the events of Final Fantasy 15, but from King Regis's point of view. I went and saw the last Final Fantasy movie in the theater. Wait. Wow. Advent- so- or, uh, 
Spirits uh, Within. Spirits Within. Yeah, that Saw literally the tanked theater. the uh, Hawaii studio. Yep. And so, but anyone who's like, oh, this is going to be terrible because of Spirits Within, like, well, episode seven so. was great, and episode three was garbage, so. And I yeah. liked Advent Children. It was pretty. It's by the same creative team as Advent Children. Cool. Mm-hmm. And it also has some amazing actors in it. Yeah, it's Aaron, Paul, Aaron Paul, Sean Bean. I feel like we should Lana mention Hedy. that this is animated. We never said it was Yeah, an it's computer-generated animated. Generated, animated. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so it's not like live action, but it's got, yeah, a, a lot of talent. Yeah. And I always kind of trust that there would be people, especially the cast that is in it, would be people who would read a script before saying yes to a thing. Yeah. like, okay, yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, actually Yeah, it's like, good. hey, you were in uh, two of the most acclaimed dramas of the past 10 years, yeah. so don't tarnish your name. Yeah. Um, and then also there's uh, a... St- anime animated series that's going to be free on YouTube and the first episode is already out. Yay anime! But anime. you can only get the last episode by So the last episode, so it's going to be a six edition. part series the first five are going to be free throughout the summer on YouTube and the last one is only available in the $230 collector's edition which is already sold out but it's also going to be available five minutes after it's out on YouTube. I was gonna say that's kind of <laughs> yes. a kick in the dick. Right? right? Yeah. It's like hey it's all free just kidding it's actually $200. But doesn't it, it, Whatever. Someone will upload it to YouTube in I mean, 20 yeah, minutes. yeah, but it's... And then they'll strike it. In, in principle, it's awful. <clears throat> I'm sure they'll release it, mm-hmm. maybe like a week later or something, people can yeah. get it, but that's just... And try to spin it as, oh, we're doing, we're, we're all about the community. Look, here, we're releasing it. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. no, you held it hostage. Oh, they'll be like, we listened. Yeah. Like, Shut up. <laughs> but, uh, didn't Square do that with uh, Deus Ex? They, and then they wisely canceled it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were like, oh, that's a terrible plan. Yeah. We should 100% not do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think all of this Final Fantasy stuff is, this is totally going to piss some people off, but I think that this is basically the reboot of Final Fantasy. Yeah. I think no one's think that's really fair cared to say. Mm-hmm. since 10. I mean, 14 after they rebooted that Realm has, has gone on to mm-hmm. massive you know, success, big time success. But mm-hmm. I mean, you're right, but that's an MMO, that's a separate. Yeah, but it's not like a it, thing that people. I mean, the Final talk Fantasy about all the time. it's not a tentpole release. It doesn't have the same like cult thing. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it's been a long time since people really, really cared about Final Fantasy, and I think most of the people who do, like, my favorite is Nine. I played a lot of them, but th- most people didn't play seemingly beyond 10, or most of the people who did play the one. Yeah, 12, right, 10 12 did not continue. sell as but well as 10, and then the Lightning Trilogy sort of uh, was reviewed averagely yeah. as opposed to the other ones which are you know regaled as some of the best RPGs <coughs> of all time. Yes, and, and so I'm thinking this is going to be that. Mm-hmm. And for better or for worse, they Square seems to be putting an unbelievable amount of money into this game. Yeah, totally. I mean, um, the, the whole stream was just like yeah, that was the the amount of announcements in that one stream mm-hmm. just about one game being like the movie, the anime, the yeah. actors that are in it, the game I mean, like that's crazy. Judging by traffic on the site, people are excited for this game. Yeah. Like so this game is doing incredible. I'm well. excited for this in ways that I was never excited about 13. Do you guys think is is Final Fantasy 15 going to be the the Fallout 4 of of this holiday in the sense that it is the big third party multi platform game? Do you guys uh, see it doing I mean, that? you can't compete with Fallout. I mean, uh, you know, but you know, relative to yeah, like yeah. unless. It, I th- I could see Watch Dogs two being if that exists if that's real again like that's all weird conjecture and whatnot right. but um I could see that being right up there with this but yeah in terms of a in terms of RPGs and b in terms of uh, third party releases I think this is right up there because the only other major RPG we know of this year is Persona five and that's not going to be on right. Xbox so yeah. that sort of skews a little bit towards the Japanese super popular game though super popular or series yeah. Follow Andrew Goldfarb on Twitter if you want to know everything about it. <laughs> Always. Yeah. And see many images of his entire desk, which is just covered in persona. It's mm-hmm. a it's a little haunting. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's yeah. not kid ourselves. We have an intervention. <laughs> persona invention. All right. Let's go. So this used to be Mitch's job. Mm-hmm. I want to make it Alana's job now. What can we spend our hard earned money on this week on the Xbox Marketplace? You're doing a great job. This is incredible. <laughs> Theater of the mind. Uh, Quantum Break is out. Yes. <laughs> is that a good? Did I start good? Yeah. That's you're all right. so far so good. Uh, it was first shown off at the Xbox One reveal in May 2013. Yeah, we know. finally all the games shown at the Xbox reveal event oh are out. God. Oh really? All two of them: Forza this Five and, <laughs> and this. Wow, this is the last one. Yeah, it's That's been beautiful. it's been shown off for the better part of three years. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And also Dirt Rally. Is that a rapper? <coughs> Moving on. Is Dirt Rally a rapper? <laughs> Should Probably. be. Yeah, that'd be good. I, I liked uh, Dirt 3. I liked that game. Reezy. 
if you uh, if you if you move the e, the three around, you can call it dirty. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, digitally, you can get steridin. Yeah, I think that's how that's pronounced. It's a retro style space shooter for just under twelve dollars. Organic Panic. I like that. That's good. Fifteen dollars. Uh, it's a cool. Yeah, you can buy the, You can buy a copy of that at Whole Foods. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Adam's Venture Origins is fifty dollars. It's an adventure terrible game. name. I was How just about to say Do that. Not, that is an awful is name for a game. I was clicking on this on Major Nelson. I'm like, okay, it, this is like an adventure game. It's potentially interesting, but I hate my the trend God, of what like, the, the name of this, this game. This thing, this thing equals this thing. Like, I hate that entire. It's a math it's equation. Just get rid of the part where it says origins. It's dumb. Anyway, uh, WRC Five Esports Edition is fifty dollars, which is another rally, rally racing game. Mm-hmm. And on the marketplace, we have, of course, the playable demo of Final Fantasy XV, which is very exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, April has The Wolf Among Us. Oh, all month so long. good. Yep. And We're never Sunset. getting another one, so play this one for free. I actually haven't played it. Oh, my God. It's oh, so you good. It's I really will. great. Make sure you at least download it. Thank, because I'm reading this, I will play it. Uh, and Sunset Overdrive. Oh, from... it's not available yet. It's only available on the 16th. Yeah, it's, a, it's one, one of those, those weird mid, mid-month yeah, things. Mid-month to mid-month. So. Both of these, I think this is legitimately the best month in it, uh, Games for Gold. It's history. not even close. Gold. Yeah. It's not even close. I reviewed both of these games, and I gave them both over a nine. Okay, but on Dead Space, sorry, on Xbox 360, we also have Dead Space and Saints Row 4, which are nice. also both awesome. Yeah. That and is again, a very split, good lineup. So, uh, Dead Space now, Saints Row 4 in the back half of the month. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Four this, very good this games. Is, yes. This four is very good games. Un, and just, if they could keep the quality like this... Mm-hmm. And that's uh, this just makes me think May is gonna be awful. The pessimist <laughs> in me is just like May is gonna be like we're bringing Pool Nation back. I'm like, God. oh, did I tell you? But I got press release for Pool Nation VR. Effect. You did tell me that Pool Nation is coming to VR. Yeah, you can't get away from it. No, like I played a lot of that game in meat space no, or didn't. in virtual space. I played a fair bit of Pool Nation. You're the one. You're the reason. <laughs> yeah. It was free for like six months. It, all we did was make fun of it on the podcast. None of us actually Have played, you played it. it. No, of course no. not. Oh. Well, You're the person who wants to go back I and have. play Dante's Why? Inferno. We ruined the joke. You we're... know that you would like Dante's Inferno. Everything everyone said about it made me want to play it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So shut your mouth. Oh, okay. you mean the like f- 14 foot demon dong? Yeah, and the lady who like whose nipples shoot out babies. I like that. That's a little. That's wow. Yeah, that's a boss fight. I think. <laughs> could just be. Could just be a regular enemy. Could be made up. Not sure. It could be a nightmare you had last night. It, it could, could be, be one. Of, it could be one of the five unlocked lies. We lied five times in this episode. <laughs> oh, no. Try to find them all. Ah! <laughs> oh man. Yes, the Wolf War is not actually being released. <laughs> that was Damn it. <laughs> Alana's so... grandma's not actually allowed to go to Greece <laughs> or also, Hawaii. Not related to Brian Altano. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Moving we'll, on. We'll come right back and do a little unlock block trivia for you right after this. Okay, unlock block trivia time. Mitch is out of the running. There's no, there's, unless you guys really suck all year, there's no mm-hmm. way Mitch is going to win. Mm-hmm. Destin had to do a Destiny Shocking. live stream thing. So, Shocking. Uh, you guys have a chance to gain some ground. Marty, in your case, you're now the. I think you're the def- you're the leader now. That's Let the one good here. thing about Mitch abandoning us and moving to Canada. So Except okay, now I'm in the lead. Mitch was in the lead, so he will soon not be. Uh, yeah, Marty at five. He will soon not be. What, are we still including him? That's very sweet. No, oh, yeah. we should all intentionally do terrible just so that Mitch <laughs> just has to <laughs> throw the whole thing so he gets the trophy. <laughs> yeah. uh, Destin has four, so we're gonna we gotta add Alana in here now. Doesn't Steve Gaynor have one? Or Steve Gaynor has zero. He Nathan? has zero. Oh yeah. Major Nelson has one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, those are the standings. This week's question comes to us from Kyle Binkley from Bartlett, Bartlett, Tennessee. Pardon me, and it's a good one. I like <laughs> this. Uh, I don't think I. I think I would have got this one wrong. Mm. What was the first mobile game to allow you to earn Xbox Gamer Score? See if you guys remember this. Was it Halo Spartan Strike, Wordament, Connectimals Unleashed, or Ms. Splosion Man? There was a time when Microsoft started making some mobile stuff, and they gave you achievements for it on your actual Xbox profile. Do you recall uh, Kyle wins himself a copy of a video game? We've been getting actually a lot of very generous donations. A bunch of people sending in their Alan Wakes that they did they didn't need from pre-ordering uh, Quantum Break. Mm. So we've got a bunch of Alan Wake copies. If you didn't play Alan Wake, it's oh, now. Backwards what do you think of Alan Wake? I don't want to talk about it. Hold on. (laughs) 
your your standing on the show might be in jeopardy again. Oh, I hate Alan Wake. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Okay, because what is this spring over there? I said she's a terrible person. That's oh, why. because it's awful. Uh, oh. No, I hate. I think that the combat sucks. But the reason that I hate it particularly is because Alan is an insufferable douche, and I hate all of the. Oh, I should go climb that ladder. Like, yes. <laughs> I see the ladder. You don't have to point out everything that I should do. It's frankly condescending. Also, he hates his game. wife. He hates his wife so much. Why do I want to go find her? He's like, ugh, she's a mean lady. I, like, I don't think that's a thing that he actually yeah, said. Yeah, no, that's the dialogue. Yeah, She's a mean lady. He mm-hmm. complains about her constantly, and then you, your motivation is supposed to be to find her. It's like he doesn't even like her. He doesn't even like himself. I complain about Andrew all the time, and I like him a lot. See? You don't. I don't like him. We hate the I'm ones we love him. the most. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's just <laughs> Also, I'm having the game... worst deja vu because we literally had this conversation on this show last we week. Did, oh, yes. okay. I'm sorry. But I, I have it. this speech rehearsed because people are always like, why don't you like it? But at the same time, nobody has ever disagreed with me when I explained why I don't like it. Everyone's always like, oh, eh. <laughs> but the flashlight's really cool. I hate that. Do you like Max Payne? Yeah, I love Max Payne. The first two that they made. I love all the Max Payne. Okay. But Max Payne is different because <laughs> he's lovable. Alan is just a douche. <laughs> really like the Asylum part, though. <laughs> Asylum part's all right. Very good. Objectively amazing. Let's move See, on. he didn't argue. Nobody <laughs> ever does. Nobody I don't, ever you know argues. I don't have the energy to argue. <laughs> it's also <laughs> everyone's that's just like, yeah. Yeah, no, that's You fine. know what? When the game came out, I probably would have argued with you now. It's just like, okay, that's fine. Thank you. It's That'll right. do. I still count that as a win. <laughs> Are you, I won the argument. Are you looking forward to playing Quantum Break? I like Quantum Break, yeah. yeah. Of what I have played, I really Yeah, like I'm it. only still, I'm an hour in. I've got ten, I, I tried to install the PC version last night, and I was like, oh, it's 42 gigs. This is going to take a while. Yeah. But it's cross-save, so I was like, all right, I'll play a little bit oh, on nice. Xbox. Yeah. Oh, then, that's so great. So, yeah, I'm, but I'm only like, I haven't even gotten back to where I was at the preview event. Yeah, yeah. I'm finishing but, a bunch of games for review, but I want to, and then I'm going to Japan, but I want to yeah. play it soon. Oh, let's, so you won't be on the show next week. I will not, correct. Okay. You need to be here. I will be here. Excellent. We'll go, and I'll drag Destin in by his by his hair if I have to. But what about Is the Taken King? <laughs> <laughs> he will be taken in Who here. Who will take the king now? <laughs> okay, so uh, we, are we writing down our answers? N- write down your answer. I mean, I don't have a Pass the pen over. Write down your answer. So if I'm right, this is insane because we talked about this game uh, yesterday and beyond. Oh, really? In the respect that we brought this game about it having achievements that you could get uh, okay. through mobile. Damn. All right. Well, so that'd be weird. So again, the question was, what was the first mobile game to allow you to earn Xbox Gamer Score? Halo Spartan Strike, Wordament, Connectables Unleashed, or Ms. Explosion Man? All games that were, in fact, on mobile devices. I'm going to go to... Alana first. Uh, I went with D. Was a complete Ms. guess. Man. Okay. Because Halo, Spartan Strike seemed like too obvious a choice, and you said I wouldn't have picked this. I've never heard of Wordament. I can't imagine why they would incorporate Gamer Score into Connectables, Connectables Unleashed, on mobile. So, so I, did I just, all these games have did you st- achievements? And this is just looking for I, what the I first one was. I believe so. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So the game we talked about on Beyond was Wordament, and Andrew specifically said that it had achievements. So that's why I'm going with that. Okay. Cool. Uh, What's it a game about? What? I think it's like a, almost like Words of Friends, like mm-hmm. Scrabble. Well. Scrangle. The answer is, in fact, Wordament. Damn it. Thank yes. you, Andrew Goldfarb. Also, literally had never heard of this game until yesterday. I so know. this is. That's why I ruled it out. This it's is two podcasts a, in a row. It's kind you, of a fun little game, advantage. actually. This is unfair. So good job, Marty. You should quit. have been on the show. I wasn't invited. <laughs> Alana, you have to be on next week. Oh, for one. <laughs> Except for next week. Marty, tied for the lead with the deceased Mitch Dyer. Oh no, we just saw Six him at Crossroads. When did he die? <laughs> we saw him right before we got here. Yeah, like ten minutes ago. <laughs> no, he's gone. Ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't I hate to break it to you. Uh, if you want to win an Xbox game, which most many of you have kindly been donating to the stash, uh, send your Xbox-related trivia question. Include four multiple-choice answers. Please note the correct one in your email, and send all that. Where, Marty? Unlocked at IGN.com. You got it. That was the first time I ever did that. Nailed it. Also, I like that I had to think, because every episode I have to say beyond at IGN.com of the other ones. Don't send it there. I've never heard you say beyond They're not going to give you an Xbox game. Yeah. No, we're not going to give you anything. 
Max will probably be mean to you. <laughs> why me? What? Why are Max you looking at me while you're saying to that? You. Why? I don't know. <laughs> what did I do? I don't know what's uh, happening. I, Max is kind of nice. I don't know Max why. Max is very nice. He's very nice. He's very tall. He has a dog. Yes. And peppers. Can confirm. Mm -hmm. Those are descriptions of Max Scoville. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He did it. Like Hawaiian shirts. Mm -hmm. All right, we did also it. Also raccoons. Yes. yes. Loves raccoons. Big yes. raccoon fan. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he like has, cucumbers. He has Doesn't rabies. like cucumbers or westerns, which we made up. Yes, that's not actually true. Mm -hmm. We had to ask to get them. Interesting. <laughs> so I should assign him to uh, our our uh, gun Red two? Dead Revolver Let's Play. Yeah. Retro Let's Play. Oh. I want gun two. They're guns? Gun Never soft got folded into Infinity Ward. Yeah, so making I wouldn't expect unless it's Call of Duty Definitely Gun. Definitely no Gun Two. Okay. What if Call of Duty Gun? You heard it here first. Scoops. Boom. That's, That's the Call new of game Duty's this year. a Western. That is Battlefield's a, a World War One game. This isn't is every a Call so of Call of War Call of Duty then. Gun. Also a good game. Yeah, every game could be called Gun. Yes. <laughs> yep. Might as well be. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. They're calling a game Man. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness man plus gun <laughs> uh, games. I've been told by the sign on the camera <laughs> to please promote our apps mm -hmm. no they are actually our PS4 and Xbox One apps in particular oh, are really cool video viewing experiences uh, obviously for this audience the Xbox One app go grab it from the app the Xbox marketplace wherever the hell that is mm -hmm. on the scream apps. at your connect just this scream is, IGN at your connect yeah, this is why I misconnect. X Xbox off. Xbox Bing IGN. <laughs> there you go. I did you it. Shut it off. You. I just said Xbox off. Jeez, Marty. <gasps> That's fine. Xbox on. No. If you say no, you have to confirm to turn it off. That's true. You don't I don't use connect. Oh, I you do. should. It's great. No. Best. It's an awesome interface tool. It is. I'm too. I'm usually. I play games after I get home from a bar. And I don't want my that's Xbox. That's why it's so good. I don't want my Xbox, like Xbox to, on. I don't want my Xbox like to know how drunk I am and judge me. Mm, that's a good point. I, do you thank your Connect? I do a lot. I, I'll be like you, Xbox on. Thank you. <laughs> that's like Xbox off. Yes. Marty Hi. has to. Marty has one of those like hookups, and he has, Marty has to blow into a tube <laughs> on the Xbox One, mm -hmm. and it's going to check his his. Uh, I mean, it could alcohol tell level before yeah, it turns it on. It wouldn't be able to tell you alcohol level, but it could tell like, your heart rate. Does your heart rate change when you're drunk? <laughs> Marty, you just it blew a know. point one five. You can't play Xbox. You can play Go to games. a hospital. <laughs> you can't play Forza. You can't play Forza. <laughs> no, you can't play Forza. You can play Burnout, though. You play Burnout, yeah. Yeah, Burnout's yeah. encouraged. Yeah. <laughs> that actually, oh, we should do that as a feature. Just get wasted and play Burnout Dibs. and see if our can scores go up. Can we just do up. that anyway? Dibs? Yeah. Yeah. Dibs. Okay. This is good. This is productive. Yeah, I like good. it. Yeah. Uh, Alana Pierce, where can we find you? What are you working on? What on, what on IGN should we be checking out that, uh, that you did? I'm on all of the social medias at at Charalanazad, which is Charizard and then my name in the middle. Uh, I'm currently working on a documentary about the making of Disney Infinity Toys, which that's is really cool, incredibly mm -hmm. cool. It's a lot of hard work making a documentary. Yeah, you went up to uh, Salt Lake City to the, to the we development studio, right? We did. We went studio, to Utah, right? and uh, one of the features that should be out by the time this is up is they basically showed us step by step how a printing process works. So mm -hmm. they printed a Kylo Ren for us, and then yeah. like bathed in an alcohol and had to shave it all down Ooh, and like Marty. pulled it out of this Marty's cool ears goop. Up. <laughs> goop. <laughs> Pulled it out of cool goop. It was like it was it was just incredibly dun, 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 dun. interesting, and I'm like so worried about building a headline for that because it's so hard to sell how interesting watching that actually was. Watch um, Kylo Ren bathe in alcohol. Bathe in booze. Done. It's probably not going to be that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely check that out. I'm mm -hmm. really really excited to yeah. see how. It I'm excited to see that. Awesome, Marty. Uh, I'm at Mick Biggity, two G's and two T's. Um, I'm reviewing. This isn't uh, Xbox related, but I'm reviewing uh, Ratchet and Clank for PS4. That will be up on uh, very pretty. Monday morning. Very, very pretty. Game. And I feel like that's not important. Yeah. I mean, there aren't, there straight up aren't a lot of 3D platformers these days. Totally. So that's, yeah, if you're interested. Hopefully that's ushering. We did also see the movie the other night, but we're not allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to talk about it until the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, we and have then thoughts. We have thoughts. Um, and then, yeah, I'll be in uh, Japan next week with uh, Goldfarb and Zach Ryan doing cool stuff that we can talk about at a later date. But it's stuff awesome. people will care about. Great. If mm -hmm. you listen to things. Nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm at DMC underscore Ryan. Uh, speaking of uh, things, so you'll be out next week. 
I'm not actually going to miss an unlocked. We'll just make sure to record early. I'm going to PAX East oh, this yeah. year all with three you. Of us are going. With we're you. All going. We're all going. <laughs> Shows. We're all going on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, we we're going to have. Be... No, we'll no, be here. On... We'll be here. On no, we'll... Yeah. yeah. We're going to record, uh, or rather, we're going to be having a meet and greet, a mm -hmm. get together yeah. at PAX East. So if you're going to PAX East, stay tuned. The invite details. Uh, yeah. You're working with our events team, Kirsten, yes. on that. There's going to be one, one Thursday, on Thursday night and on then Saturday. one Saturday night. That and we will both all of be them at. sound so freaking cool. Mm -hmm. Stuff we have planned is awesome. So. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, I would love to meet you. I met a lot of you, for those of you that were able to come to the house parties we did last year. Mm -hmm. So for the, for you East Coast folks, we're coming to you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, we also have a panel at PAX. I yes. don't know who exactly is on that. Are we uh, all I'm on that? that. I think all of us are. Uh, right. yeah. yeah. All of us going around. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's Saturday at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah. In Let's theater. go to Shake Shack after. Are there Shake Shacks in Boston? Heck, I yes, think so. I love Shake Shack. Shake Shack's amazing. I just went to the one in Phoenix while I was there right mm -hmm. before my trip. Yeah. Good. We went to it's the one good. in Vegas. So. I tried the chicken sandwich, like the fr uh, yeah. fried chicken sandwich. Wasn't crazy Not bad. I, the burgers are better. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Agreed. Mm -hmm. But the, I, I love those crinkle fries are legit. I those love, are good. that's like specifically why I like Shake Shack so much. Yeah. On that note, come see our panel and maybe come to Shake Shack with us afterwards. We have the party immediately afterwards. We don't, have, we don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> Shake Shack, Ryan. <laughs> God, aren't you supposed to be a dad? <laughs> what do you want us? from me? <laughs> yeah, yeah now more than ever on this podcast, you have to be a dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please help. Uh, I think I started to say something about watch our apps. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, the Xbox One app. But yeah, it's so <laughs> for stuff like PAX, for stuff like E3 in particular, yeah. like big events, it's a great place to watch our live streams mm -hmm. and other things. But day to day, I mean, watch this show on mm -hmm. on there because you can just have it on on your big TV, watch when you want, wander off into another room, and you can still hear it. Mm -hmm. Could so have check it out snapped. If that's a thing that you like to. That's do. true. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. Mm -hmm. Snap the app. You're a rapper now. <laughs> I'm snapping the app. Is that rap? Damn, that's awesome. It was a real good rap. <laughs> You did it. That was like the Adams family. Like, yeah, that was totally the episode. I liked it. Yeah. It was good. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm at DMC underscore Ryan. If you like this T-shirt, there's a link on my Twitter page where you can buy one of your own. I made it. I like oh, cool. it. Cool. It's very cute. Thanks. For I'm, audio I'm, listeners, it says coexist and has a PS4 controller and an Xbox One controller that's smiling next to each other. And they're, they're jumping. A cool they're high fiving. fiving. And on the back is a Wii U gamepad that's very sad because <laughs> it, it's covered <laughs> in <laughs> dust. In the <laughs> it's, it's literally buried under a pile of dust. <laughs> Don't worry, Help guys. Me. Zelda's coming. <laughs> Oops, it's coming to NX, y'all. Get buckle up for that. Uh, and I also do a Tesla podcast if you like cars that do not run on gasoline. It's called Ride the Lightning. Look up, just search yeah, Tesla cool. on iTunes and you will find that. And I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not reviewing. I don't know. I don't even, I have got back from vacation, so I don't even know what I'm doing here. Reviewing anymore. emails. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> For Alana Pierce, Marty Sleva, and the MIA Destin Legary, I guess I'll thank him anyway. Yeah. Guardian my ass. <laughs> I'm Ryan McCaffrey. Rest in peace, Mitch Dyer. We love you. We miss you. Uh, this has been Unlocked 240. We'll see you back here next week. Bye.